Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Top Notes with Steven. I am Steven, your party host, your paragon of virtue, your Sherpa to all fragrance. Today, we have a good one. Well, we're going to see how good it is. <clears throat> I'd like to give a shout out to Key, work acquaintance. She has graciously she has graciously sponsored today's video in the summer series. Yes, today we have Ariana Grande Rim. This today we have Ariana Grande Rim. Rim. Notes in this one are saphir, caramel, sea salt, fig, lavender, blossom, musk, tonka bean, and sandalwood. Now, all those sound good for the summertime. It's light and airy. You never know how things are going to go. Let's... Doesn't look like she has very much left. So I'll be very conscious on how much I spray. Let's check out the atomizer. Atomizer is pretty good. This is my first time checking out an Ariana Grande type uh, fragrance. <clears throat> Let's see what I smell. Okay. Right off that bat, you're going to smell the fig and the caramel and the sea salt. <clears throat> it is very intoxicating. It's almost like a gourmand, but it's not. It's not as heavy as a gourmand would be or that decadent. But you can definitely smell the caramel in these types of fragrances. Just imagine... A buttery sugar cookie. Now I've noticed this over the last 10 to 20 years that the sugary cookie type of thing is in all the Bed Bath and Beyond and the Victoria's Secrets. Maybe to me in my eyes it smells feminine. It's good though. <coughs> but that sugary cookie type feel to me is very feminine, very intoxicating. <sighs> it smells good though. I mean, I like it. Definitely rated a, a good solid 6.2 in this one. Definitely, I mean, you can buy this online, Amazon, different websites, stuff like that. Just, uh, it's a very good, it's a decent designer cologne because of course Ariana Grande is very designer in my opinion. Let me see if I can't get some of that mid notes, some of those mids. Very, very lavendery as it goes into the mid drive down. I mean, I like it a lot. And as it goes into the dry down, you get that real big sense of sandalwood, which is very nice. Very, very just mellow. It's, it's quite nice. Very almost kind of like in the, in the mid, going into the dry down, very like Nautica Voyage. Uh, very, very mass pleasing, very solid fragrance. I would definitely recommend picking this up for females. Uh, and honest to you, I, I do a few female colognes on here every once in a while. It's, I know it's mostly dominated by men's colognes. I get that. 
I'm working on more, getting more female type colognes in my collection. Um, borrowing some, renting some, maybe a little bit of D kits. I don't know, but I'm working on getting more female oriented fragrance. But that pear blossom is on the bottom, but it's very subtle and very quaint. I like it a lot. I'm not really so much smelling the musk, but the sandalwood and the pear blossom and the, and the lavender are eloquently subtle and very nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give your boy a big old thumbs up. Hit that notification bell, subscribe. Tell me down below what your fragrance of the day is, what you'd like to see me try. And as always, guys, stay blessed.